What is up guys, Mike Zimimo here and welcome to my YouTube channel. Most of all, welcome to episode um, 4 of my Gothic 3 playthrough, the playthrough of Baliar, aka the Hashishin. This particular episode, we're gonna go to Montera. I'm not gonna do Montera, but going towards Montera. And uh, we'll see how much time that will take and uh, whether it's going to be enough or whatnot. Let's go, Cyrus. And then hopefully after this freaking run, my money will be on the fucking bank because I'm hungry as fuck. But my money is still not on the fucking bank account as always. Which is really annoying. Especially since, you know, I'm dependent on it pretty much. But, uh, I really need to get paid. Either way. Because uh, I can't do this much longer when it comes to, you know, living like shit, basically. Now don't worry, I'm a bit, you know, agitated due to the fact that uh, my money has not still not been deposited on my fucking bank account, which is uh, a bit un un uh, unexpected due to the fact it always is on my bank account at Wednesday. But today, of course, when I need it the most, it's not there. Well, at least not yet. Now the bank's already closed. But uh, sometimes, you know, rarely though, but sometimes I get my cash at about 8 till, you know, 9 p.m. Which is uh, frustrating because then the stores are fucking closed and thus I cannot get any fucking food. At least when it is deposited at 9 p.m. or after. So I'm gonna check again at 8. But, um, I fear that I have to, uh, no. One second, I totally forgot that, uh... Stop right there. I totally forgot that, uh... That guy over there will attack Cyrus. You know, normally, I don't need, really need the uh the money when it comes to food but uh, today i do and of course it is the day where my money is being dropped off way too fucking late as always because when you need it the most it's not there and if you don't need it and well it gets stored it right fucking way And I do not know if you guys know the feeling of not be able to eat for a day. I can handle it, it's not the first time and most certainly not the last time that I have to skip a meal, you know, but uh, it's still really fucking frustrating, especially due to the fact that I'm fucking hungry because yesterday I didn't eat either. So, I'm really, really hungry, but, uh, it's, uh, the way things looking at the moment, it looks like I have to skip another fucking day without a meal. Wait here. I'll hold the fort here. You're too late. Everything's already gone. What's your problem? Look at this mess on the road. The bandits took all my things. Curse Ortega and his gang of filthy swine. What did they take from you? I was on my way to Ardea with five crates of lamp oil. Ortega's bandits took all the crates. I'm ruined without my oil. I'll get your lamp oil back for you. Oh, don't get my hopes up. I'm a desperate man. 
But if you really can retrieve my crates, I'll make it worth your while. What are you going to do now? Uh, no idea. I'm waiting for a miracle, or even better, for the next orc patrol that will send me to the mines. That Ortega, what kind of a person is he? Ortega doesn't give a hoot for the orcs or anybody else. He's the terror of the entire coastal region. His bandits keep murdering and pillaging like there's no tomorrow. Where is Ortega, the bandit boss, now? The pig is hiding out in some den of thieves along the coast here. If I knew where he was, I would set the orcs on him. I see. Come with me. All right. Well, you know, you got those uh, people, you know, those religious people that skip days. Uh, Christianity does it, I'm not quite sure, but uh, Islam shouldn't it does. But they eat at 10 p.m., you know. Even they do not know what it's like to literally skip one or two days without fucking food. Now, of course, I don't want to complain because there are a lot of people with a lot worse situations than mine you know don't get me wrong but uh it's still annoying nevertheless but you know and that's my own fucking issue i suppose let's go to kick this boar's ass So much for you, filthy beast. Well, you know, I'll be fine either way. It's still annoying, but uh, it's not the first time, like I said a couple of times already, probably. It's not the first time where I, uh, you know, had to skip a bit of meal. And it will most certainly not be the last one either now where is the road to the fucking old Montero if I have to bypass those wolves a stretch I cannot handle at least not without wasting many arrows But the problem is the uh, lamp oil guy. If he attacks Cyrus, Cyrus will attack him back. And then, you know, either one of them will get knocked down. Probably uh, the lamp oil guy. But uh, could end up, you know, Cyrus killing the bugger. But I prefer to evade just in case. So much for you, filthy beast. Filthy beast less. All right, so let's go, Cyrus. Before I start thinking about food again. I'll tear you apart. I'll tear your head off. No, 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 no. Ah, 
Are you guys fucking kidding me? Uh, Next time, uh, it's my turn. Uh, I'll tear you uh, apart. Nothing to be had there. Nothing to be had. Not what I wanted to do. What a BS. You there. So much for you, filthy beast. Go back now. You know where to find me. Sure do. Stop right there. Not a step further. Calm down. I'm not out to get you. By Enos. I almost took you for one of those wretched orc mercenaries. Aren't you afraid the orcs might get you? Orcs are careless and noisy when they roam the woods. I can hear them half a mile away. The only plague that is getting to me is those horrible goblins. You are more afraid of goblins than of orcs? Scared? I am not scared at all. The goblins will creep around the camp at night and steal everything I've got. There must be a whole nest of those cowardly goblins somewhere close by. Tell me about the area here. You are in the wilderness here. No cities anywhere. That mountain range to the north separates the coastal region from the midlands. Keep following the path to the west, and you'll eventually get to Montera. Provided the bandits don't cut your throat first, that is. Interested in a little trade? Depends on what you have, really. What will you pay me to get rid of the goblins? You mean so I wouldn't have to keep an eye on my things all the time? Hmm. I guess that would be worth 100 gold coins to me. I will do away with those cowardly goblins for you. Well, have fun then. Goblins are awfully nimble little bastards. Don't let them surround you, or you're done for. Sorry about that guys, I had to get myself my fire. Show me your goods. You know at least if you you know at least I have uh, tobacco so I don't get grumpy. Otherwise I would have already been grumpy I suppose. And most likely. Well at least I got some gold. I'll take care of these band uh, uh, goblins for you. But first, I need uh, to fry some freaking meat.
BS, just literally BS. His club has lesser range than mine, yet he hits all the time and I do not. Yeah, the irony. <laughs> Fuck you, Gobo. If you're not gonna play by the books, then neither will I. These gobos only had some fucking use for loot. Look, BS. Just freakingly BS. I press fucking tap, you fucking, fucking annoying fucking bullshit game. Holy fucking shit. Now have to redo all those motherfucking goblins just because of the fucking game not responding to my spamming on tap. AKA my fucking inventory. Fucking moments like that that I call a boo shit. Just fucking boo shit. Oh, that man here. I really should learn to fucking quick save more fucking often. Games like these really need fucking autosave. Because one thing, you know, is that my weapon is twice the size of his fucking club, yet he hit me first. Yeah, sure, man. What a fucking bullshit. So again, you know, size in this ma when it comes to weapons makes no fucking difference because the gobo is always first and you know you get knocked down but your enemy doesn't and these are the kind of fucking things that are pissing me off all over the fucking place especially if you do these kind of games three fucking times these bugs these 
whatever you want to call them, they're not right, that's for sure. Bullshit is what I call it. So I'm just gonna do it the cowardly way and I'm gonna pump them full of fucking arrows. If I can fucking aim. Because, uh, you know, the whole mechanics of this game is a bit uh, broken, if, if you could say so. Sure, you know, I understand that one-handed weapons are faster than a two-handed staff, but uh, this staff is the size, double the size of his uh, cudgel, his uh, useless piece crappy ass weapon. But of course, they always hit and they always knock you down, but the player never does. So I'm just gonna spam, you know, F5, as you can see, you probably already noticed that, you know, my, bo my blood is starting to boil. One, I'm fucking hungry. Two, I've skipped, skipped food for about, if, if I don't eat today, then two days, you know, it's not healthy. Well, whatever. And, uh, at least I've got some tobacco, but even tobacco does not always stop me from rage. I know it's lame, you know, I understand it's lame to run away, but I'm sick and tired of the BS in this game. In any game, basically, especially, especially the gothic series, it's full full of BS. BS rules, well, BS glitches and bugs and what have you. Better be the last motherfucker. What I also don't get, you know, is the fact that I have basically quadrupled my RAM, basically. You know, I went from 4 gigabytes of RAM to 16, and yet the game lags. Pretty much the same amount of lags as my other playthroughs, no differences in whatsoever. Two of them. Come on, come on, I don't have all fucking day.
more of the beast. Another one of those beasts. No one will miss you. I finished off those cowardly goblins. And the bastards didn't skin you alive? Oh, I'll be. You've got what it takes, my friend. This is certainly worth a hundred gold coins. Well, they kicked my ass once. Once too many. No loot whatsoever. Fucking name. So I have to keep this cave in mind when I get uh, the secondary opening locks. Probably gonna forget about that time, but we'll see. At least this part has been done. Now since I have no companion whatsoever, as well as no healing supplies whatsoever, there is no way I can get past the uh, lines of bandits. Just too many of these beasts. This is all your own fault. Fucking bullshit. Again, he didn't knock back, he didn't get any damage whatsoever, you know. He just, bum, went straight from getting hit to, bum, there you go, dead. This is why I'm really not looking forward to doing this game in hardcore mode, because uh, in hardcore mode I am not allowed to use the tap menu screen in order to heal and this game has no way to heal yourself while you run away because of the stupidity that your character will stand still I took care of the fucking the fucking
really, really fucking annoying all this lag with 16 fucking gigabytes of RAM and still this shitty ass game lags like a motherfucker. Which is one of the main reasons why I dislike Gothic 3. Because no matter what you do, no matter how much store of a PC you have, this game always fucking lags. Always. Could it be my video card? I highly doubt it since it's two gigabytes. But, um. Could be. I doubt it though. Because this game is from what? 20, 2005, 2006? Something around that area, I don't know. So it should be running fine on a uh, PC with 2 gigabytes. How many fucking scavengers? But I've, you know, a 2 gigabyte video card and 16 gigabytes of RAM. Of course, the settings are now on high compared to the other two playthroughs, which was on medium. But the lag is no difference whatsoever. Even if I put it to medium, you know, back to medium with 16 fucking gigabytes of RAM, it will still fucking lag. Why? Because this game is just shitty. That's why. Is it shitty shitty? Not quite, you know, the game itself is relatively good, but the bugs in every gothic game overweighs the uh, gothic potential that this game actually has, you know, as a series. All the way from gothic 1, you know, with the steam fixes and whatnot in order to make, make it work. Done by the community, by the way, because, you know, Joe Productions don't just don't give a shit. From Gothic 2, you know, same nonsense as Gothic 1, you have to fix it on Steam, which is again done by the community and not by Joe Productions. They just released it on Steam and were like, yeah, let's sell some more. Getting, you know, certain things fixed. No, of course not, they don't do that. The community has to do that. And do the community get credit for it? Yes, by us players, but not by fucking Joey Productions. And, uh... And this is why I'm really, in one way... Kind of looking against Elix. In a way. Because of the fact that I know Joey Productions is lazy as fuck when it comes to releasing their games. If you're gonna look at a Gothic 1 and Gothic 2, flawless games in the day, buggy as shit on modern DPCs, you know. Do they fix that? No, of course not. The community has to fix it. But, uh, Gothic 3, you know, with the whole nonsense with Forsaken Gods, terrible, just terrible. No other word to put it. Which tremendously hurts, at least in my opinion, the potential overall score of a Goth 3. And then you would think, you know, that they would have thought and at least learned the lesson on not to, well, not to uh, release a so-called expansion while it's a different game altogether. But of course, they didn't. Because then, a fall of Satyrif as the same fucking nonsense as Forsaken Gods. And this is why, in the general, yes, gothic games are really relatively good. Yes, they are entertainment to play, but again, the bugs overweigh the, as well as the slackiness of Joe Productions overlay the uh, potential that this game could have. Do I give Gothic 3 a 10 out of 10? Fuck no. Fuck no, there are too many bugs in this game um, that destroy the game. Now, first of all, if you want to play this game as it was meant to be played, 
with a, a modern mouse that is, then you will need to download uh, yes, the community patch, which is again done by the fucking community, not by Joe Productions, because they don't honestly give a shit. At least that's how I look at it, they honestly don't give a shit, the only thing that they care about is selling games, is making money, just like EA, just like Bethesda, all they care about is making fucking money. Now of course Bethesda does things a bit way different and way better when it comes to then the Joe Productions, but uh, still, you know, it sucks that we have to be reliant on mostly Russian and Polish, and maybe even Czech Republic community members that fix things for Joe Productions because they are too lazy to fix things. And then, you know, you have Forsaken Gods and Fall of Satyria. Now keep in mind, Gothic 4 Arcania is not really, really, really from Joe Productions. It's actually from um, a fan publisher by Deep uh, Parana Bites, I suppose, that, uh, you know, made the game slash released the game. But man, was that game shit. Um, so when I'm looking at Gothic individually, Gothic 1 is good, Gothic 2 is good. Um, Estimately about 9 out of 10 on both games. Gothic 3 is good, but uh, lots of bugs, uh, lots of annoying bugs. So about 7 out of 10, and then we go to Forsaken Gods, 1 out of 10. Gothic 4, 3 out of 10 at max, you know, because that game was just shit, to put it lightly. Where? <clears throat> you know, when Joe Productions or Perennial Bytes or any publisher, you know, decides to scrap a game of its content. I highly disrecommend it. Don't fucking do it. Otherwise, you get shit like Forsaken Gods, and all Gothic fans will, you know, um, how to say it, will agree with me that Forsaken Gods is shit. Gothic 4 is shit, to put it at the least, and F Fall of Satyrith is once again shit. You know, the only three Gothic games that were decent to good. Gothic 1, terrific. Wonderful, aside from the fact that we needed the community in order to make it run on Steam. You know, just saying. Great game, nevertheless. Gothic 2, wonderful. Annoying bugs, and uh, again, has to be had shit fixed. Because of the community, not because of uh, uh, Joe Wood's production, skillful skills, you know. Fucking bullshit. And then, you know, the disaster called Gothic 4. Did I enjoy playing it for the first time? Yes, I did. I'm not gonna lie, yes, I did enjoy it. Um, although, I beat the game on my first try, which is most of the time the fastest try, you know, just go, go get me wrong. But it, within 10 hours, I was heavily, heavily disappointed. And it just totally destroyed the overall ranking, at least in my view, when it comes to the Gothic series. You know, I'm just saying. Is the series in its general still good? It's decent. You know, it's decent. If you count Forsaken Gods 
and uh, a full of satiric gothic 4 along with the series then it's decent if you scrap those then the series is great but you know that's my uh, personal opinion now the reason why I dislike gothic 3 a bit is due to the fact that Forsaken God is supposed you know supposed to be an expansion of gothic 3 but we all know that that's not the case but anyways we are about 50% through to uh, Montera and uh, I'm already 43 minutes in I talk a bit too much die a bit too much but uh, you know it's sad it's sad to see great games like these being destroyed by you know bugs and glitches very annoying ones that get fixed all the time most of the time by the community and you know Joe productions just don't seem to listen because otherwise they would not release Gothic 4 with the same bullshit as Forsaken Gods when it comes to scrapping content. If Joe Productions will make a new game, a Gothic 5 or a Gothic 4, whatever you want to call it, Joe would, make sure that if your game is not complete, don't scrap fucking content just to make a quick buck. And extend your release date a bit, hey? And just fix those things, even if it means pre sending the game with one year. Because in the end, I personally prefer companies like Bethesda, EA, Deep Silver, Joe Productions, and all of them to prolong their release date and get the things fixed as they are meant to be because gothic 1 had scrapped content gothic 2 has scrapped content gothic 3 has them forsaken gods have them gothic 4 and fall of satirif have scrapped content as well which is something that i do not like it hurts the series in overall tremendously so should joe productions decide let's release a new gothic game make sure the game is fucking finished and if you release an expansion pack make sure it's a expansion pack not the same nonsense as fall of satirif and forsaken gods i'm just saying you know because uh, if they do that then the entire series in my opinion will be so utterly destroyed that gothic 1 will turn to shit gothic 2 will turn to shit and gothic 3 will turn to shit Gothic 3 has already turned to shit since the release of Forsaken Gods because you know it was again Forsaken Gods was the scrapped content from Gothic 3 when they were pushing it to be released on the exact release date that they wanted to do while well, Joe Production said hey let's uh let's try to block it off and uh you know let's work a bit more on developing the game eventually they decided nevertheless to release the game and man oh man what a disappointment it was at first gothic 3 was great you know i beat the game the game had an open ending which was sad and then forsaken god came out and i was like yeah started gothic 3 again i was like you know let's continue in forsaken gods and boom in insignificant gothic 3 forsaken gods totally starts at a different point the character is totally fucking different the build is totally fucking different your character instantly becomes level 10 apparently and all the learning points have gone to shit waste in capabilities that your character does not need you know like poison only a servant of baliar in my opinion would wield poison in Forsaken Gods, every playthrough, whether it's Enos, whether it's Adonos, or whether it's Baliar, will have those capabilities because the developers start, you know. Let's make the character instant level 10, first of all. Second of all, let's waste the learning points in some bullshit things, you know. And third of all, they fucked it up tremendously. Now, I don't think that uh, Joe Productions... Um, will release let's say gothic 5 but um, if they do make sure that your game is complete as much as possible if you're gonna do expansions then make sure it's an expansion and not a disaster like forsaken gods and fall of satirif 
but again I'm talking too much thank you guys for watching I hope you I hope you guys are enjoying the content if you want a different path you know make sure to check out my youtube channel a playthrough of the humanoid mercenaries as well as the playthrough of the rebels are both already on my youtube channel which is most of the reason why I'm frustrating frustrated at the moment on doing it the third time but in the end that is what my channel is all about and yes sometimes I rage and yes sometimes I complain but I think I'm allowed to do that since I beat the shit out of this game multiple times and I do know its flaws I do know its strengths and I do know its weaknesses but uh, that's gonna be for a review video I will explain everything then which is gonna probably either go on to, the, to this channel or the second channel who knows but uh, anyways guys thank you guys for watching I hope you like what you see and if you do subscribe to my channel and hit the notification bell and uh, if you got a game that I do not have yet on my YouTube channel make sure to let me know in the comment section down below whether it's in Gothic whether it's in Risen whether it's in Fear any of my game you can put different games into the comment section and if I do not have the games I will eventually purchase them just to convert you the viewer into a subscriber because in the end I do this not for pure enjoyment I do this to get money and I'm not gonna walk around the bush by saying that I'm not doing it for the money because I do um, it's not that I want to be filthy rich out of this you know don't get don't get me wrong about that one but I do want to get paid because in the end my long-term vision of doing this is being able to review games as reviewing should be done not by those you know 9 out of 10 publications where people beat games like Doom the new Doom you know did you guys see those reviews they were done on easy and even then they were shit the players were shit you know so Personally, I want to eventually be able to upload games to YouTube and review the games that I beat and thus, yes, criticize the game on its fully potential, what could have been done better and what not, you know, you know the drill. But anyways, guys, thank you guys for watching and I hope to see you guys in the next episode. My sincere apologies for all the rambling, all the raging and what not, but uh, that can happen quite often on my channel especially if I am getting done with the game in particular in this case Gothic 3 but uh, anyways guys thank you guys for watching and see you guys next time